we have eight characters. We have total eight characters here. And yearly sign is only the yearly branch, one over eight. Each character has the meaning of personality. And only yearly sign has the limitation to determine our whole being. It's very limited. But why, mm, why people do that before? How long to become master? <laughs> I don't know. At least I think three to six months, you might start rotating all the five elements in a different way. So in six months, I usually say you're familiar with, you become really familiar with this language. And after six months, it depends on your creativity, your thinking process. I think it's the forever <laughs> learning. Okay, so let's start with this energy for today. And this is the today's energy. And also it is kind of symbolizing this month energy. I said this month energy. Oh, I will just look at the questions really quick. Can you just add up your weighting from the video to determine the dominant energy of your own chart? Okay, we do that uh, every week. How about let's start from here? Since we don't really read personal chart in this live session, let's use this today's energy to figure out the dominant energy. So what if, if we consider this is today's energy and this is, if we consider this is one's chart, let's figure out what is the dominant energy in this chart and what is Yongshin. So the daily master is Wu Earth. So I put the Wu Earth in the middle and a little bit the thicker circle in the earth because it's daily master. And daily master is same as friendship spirit. And there are three wood. It is notice noticeably located on yearly branch and monthly branch and daily branch. It could be really big, absolutely big. And there are no metal. So I'll draw small, relatively, but very small. And no fire, but there is little fire in the dog. So I will draw small but larger than metal. And there are three water on the heavenly stem, but without without the earthly branches, only only water on this heavenly stem doesn't have that much power. So I'll draw maybe about this. Larger than fire, smaller than wood, and Earth, maybe similar, similar to Earth. I'll draw Earth a little bit smaller. And those are 10 spirits. So it's definitely wood dominant chart. It is Earth, Wu Earth, as a central element, as a daily master, as a friendship spirit. And the wood is dominant energy. It is official spirit. We call it as an official because the wood controls the Earth. And the other three, the fire is mother spirit because it, it is generating the earth. It is producing the earth. And metal is child spirit as an output because it is come, coming from the daily master, myself. So it is child spirit as an output. And the wealth, the water is wealth spirit that daily master controls. So there are five. So we say it is wood dominant chart or it is an official spirit dominant chart. And whenever we divide my side and the other side, the daily master's energy, the friendship spirit's energy, and the mother spirit is always my side that support me or my element itself that is my side. If it's strong, that is considered as a strong chart. And if the other three, child and wealth and official spirit, if those three are strong, it is considered as a weak chart. So it looks like official spirit is the largest so it is considered as a weak chart by the official spirit, wood. And usually in a, in a weak chart, in a weak chart, usually the preferable energy could be either the mother spirit or the friendship spirit. So the Yongshin could be fire or the earth. So the most preferable energy could be fire and earth. Wood is the dominant energy, so it doesn't need wood energy anymore. It doesn't need, maybe it doesn't need water because water is creating the wood energy and makes it bigger. Metal energy could be needed because it can control the, control the official spirit. 
control the wood. Okay, so far, any question? I wonder where you learned, which school, which master. I have my teacher in Korea. It is not a school, it is his own school. And then I'm a direct uh, disciple of him. What determines a person's personality? Their chart or yearly animal sign? This is very, <laughs> this is very interesting question. We have eight characters. We have total eight characters here. An yearly sign is only the yearly branch. Yearly sign is only the yearly branch. So it's one over eight. Each character has the meaning of personality. And only yearly sign has the limitation to determine our whole being. It is very limited. But why, why people do that before? Because of the purpose of advertisement. And it's very convenient. Like we don't know, we might, we might not know our day of birth or we might not know what is the animal of our month, the birth month, but everyone knows, everyone knows our birth year, right? We, we born in like red ear or horse ear or monkey ear like that. So it is very, it was very easy to really put in the newspaper that like today's luck or this year's luck like that by the yearly branch as an animal sign. It's just easy to, easy to communicate with people. And also the second reason why people like to talk about yearly sign is because in the past, in a long time ago, when long time ago, year usually means our ancestor and month could be parents and they could be myself or spouse. And hourly pillar could be our offspring. Long time ago, the ancestors' energy was really important because what is my lineage? What is my family? That was really important in the past. So that's why before modern times, they more cared about the yearly, yearly pillar. They more care about yearly stem and yearly branch and then look at the whole chart because the ancestor and our family will determine our life. If my ancestor is a king, I live like I can live like king. My if my ancestor is like slave, I also have to live like slave. Because of that aspect, people start talking about the yearly branch as a sign, animal sign the most. But these days, our being is more important. We still we are still influenced by our ancestor and parents, but these days myself is more important than the ancestor. So these days these days, this daily master is considered as the most uh, important aspect of our personality. So this one takes about 50%. If you are born with the Wu Earth, like today, you have a lot of Wu Earth quality. But like in the past, whoever you are, it doesn't matter. You have to follow the ancestors' way of life. Yeah. Yearly annual sign is a part of the chart. It's the yearly pillar. Yeah, he... he exactly talked about that. 